Hello there everybody and welcome back to some more Mudrunner gameplay for your face. My name is Justice Fist and today we're going to do another uh, mod test episode to break up the uh, vanilla gameplay that I've been covering on the valley. Um, so yeah, let's get right to it. Now this uh, is a new tracked vehicle that's popped up recently on the website that I use to uh, download my truck mods and map mods. This is the Bat-M. It is the test version. Um, and it's by v v Vazi Karpov. Obviously, uh, yeah, Eastern European uh, or something like that. <laughs> um, that's where a lot of a lot of these really weird truck mods come from. Look at the door vibrating like that. That's weird. That's weird. Anyway, I thought as a as a bad joke, uh, we'd test this out on the valley since everyone is playing this map right now. Um, <laughs> and uh, so that's what we're gonna do, man. You're here for some gameplay, so let's get right into it, and I'll talk more about this mod once we get going. So the plan here is to um, haul these garage trailers uh, up to the garage. Uh, so that we can uh, test how this thing hauls and then we will um, unlock the garage at the same time and have a look at some of the add-ons that come with it. So let's get this thing fired up here. And then we'll winch this trailer to this trailer. That'll do. And um, set some waypoints. I'm going to go up to the garage in the northwest corner of the map. Uh, I believe uh, this thing doesn't get great... Um, Great fuel mileage. Um, well, most of these track track vehicles don't, so I don't even know if we're going to make it, uh, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, maybe might be smart to get some of these watch points along the way just so we can see what's going on. We'll see. Okay, let's get right to it. Let's uh, make sure that's pulling. Now, this thing, uh, as you can see, it's, it's a lot like the uh, TT4 that I've covered in other videos uh, in that uh, obviously it doesn't articulate um, it, it steers like a tank or a skid steer how you would imagine something like that works um, so that's cool I like that so that means it has the potential to turn you know 360 on a dime kind of thing um, but I don't know yet if it suffers from the same t track uh, glitches that the TT4 does uh, where I if you turn too sharply or you reverse for too long uh, you lose a track and then uh, just burst into flames I'm not sure uh, if that's a thing with this as well, we'll I guess we'll find out <laughs> soon enough um, so yeah anyway now uh, I'm gonna post I'll, I will post a, a link in the description to where you can download this um, but disclaimer where I download z these mods from because I mean because they're free um, you get spammed with pop-ups man and there's always a potential there to uh, to get uh, malware from that right so if you're like me and you have a really good antivirus, then, you know, you have nothing to worry about. But if not, um, you know, go there at your own risk kind of thing. And uh, same with the, um, like, in order for this to work properly, you need to, oh, look at the tree get caught. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is a problem. That's, how long is that going to stay there, I wonder? <laughs> oh, there it goes. It's moving. Um... Yeah, so anyway, as I was saying, you also need um, Spin Tires Mod EXE to be able to run these mods. Um, if you're not familiar, it's a third-party program that actually hacks the game engine uh, that allows for tracked vehicles and allows for other things like um, the use of large uh, mod maps that are like a more than 1K by 1K kind of thing. Um, now, uh, since the Valley DLC, uh, there's you need to use the newer versions of Spin Tires Mod EXE, or many people call it just refer to it as uh, Mud Runner Plus. Um, and the only place I know where to download that is a Russian website, which is fine. Uh, if you use um, Google Chrome, you can just hit translate and it'll translate it well enough that you can read about the uh, program and uh, navigate uh, around the website, right? It's not a big deal. Um, do I really want to go get that? <laughs> that puts me in an awkward spot. If I unhook these trailers, then I need to winch to them and... Oh, what the hell, why not? Um, yeah, so I'll leave a link to that as well, but again, it uh, you get spammed with pop-ups and stuff like that, so if you don't have a good antivirus, uh, use discretion, man. I thought about maybe not posting the links because of that stuff, but then I thought, if you're like me, you have a good antivirus, you want this stuff, then, you know, it's up to you if you want to go get it or what. So, you know. Now, uh, here's a true test of how stable this is. I'm going to reverse. Um, and reversing with these track vehicles can be a little tricky. Uh, run the risk of losing a track, so I almost probably shouldn't do this in order that we can test it a little more, but 
to hell with it, I'm doing it now. Okay, so far so good. Boy, it's so touchy to steer though, eh? Wow. Yeah, so link in the description. All that will be linked. Let's get this hooked back up. Are they still winch back there? No, the winch lets go when you're here. Okay. There we go. Alright then, let me set some more waypoints. Okay, so, <clears throat> yeah, we're going to come down here, cross here somewhere, it doesn't really matter, and then uh, we'll just follow the trail up to the garage. Now, we're going to be able to turn this sharply enough here without rolling my trailers over, okay. <laughs> So yeah, and those of you that were anxious to see uh, how my tracked vehicle series was going to play out, um, unfortunately you're going to have to wait a little bit on that. Um, some of those vehicles no longer function properly after the uh, update that came with the Valley DLC. Uh, the TT4 and the um, URAL5920 aren't working properly anymore. Um, so I'm waiting to see if the mod authors will come out with an update for those mods, or I don't know, if not, We'll just start a new series. The DT30 still works, and this works, and um, who knows what's going to come out in the future, right? So, uh, you know, it's still in the cards. Whoa, boy, I'm trying not to roll these trailers over. <laughs> okay, where are we here? All right. How are we doing back there? <laughs> Look at the stuff getting jammed in the tracks. That's crazy, man. <laughs> uh, so, so far, so good. And uh, as you would expect from a track vehicle, very powerful. Um, and uh, unlike the TT4, this one, um, it has winch points. And I believe it can pull all kinds of trailers, too. We'll, we'll see once we get up to the garage there, of course. But... Uh, I'm just sort of really going easy on it here. I don't want to start dealing with rolled over trailers, although we're damn close to that right now, aren't we? <laughs> gentle justice, gentle man. Especially the furthest one from the back there, it's real sketchy because it's just winched. Okay. Just a tow cable on that one, man. Not that I don't think we could pull it even if it if it rolled onto its side, really. Ooh, something funny is going on with the tracks there. Ah, we rolled it over. <laughs> well, we, you had nothing to do with it. That was all me, man. Let me see if I can at least... Um, look at that track flapping around. Yeah, no, we're stuck. I'm going to have to go roll that over. Okay. I was hoping not to have to deal with this kind of stuff, but, um, you know, this is a uh, typical spin tires gameplay, right? You never know what's going to happen, man. Detach, please. Thank you. All right, well, let's go see if we can fix that. I'm just waiting for it. I'm just waiting for one of these tracks to come flying off. Honestly. So far it's doing quite well though, I have to say. I wonder if I can just push it. <laughs> I'm gonna try. Oh wow. <laughs> I'm climbing on it! No, I didn't want to do that, really. Um, <laughs> okay, we're going to have to winch it from the other side. It's all right. I 
Yeah, well, this is a good stability test for you. As you can see, the tracks are holding on quite well. It's just a bit tricky because when you're when you're steering it, you know you lose uh, power to one side of your one of the tracks when you're turning sharply, and so it doesn't climb so well until you go full on forward kind of thing. There, please. Perfect. We are caught on something. Oh, <laughs> there's trees back there, Justice. What are you doing, man? Ooh. It's actually quite difficult to steer when you're trying to, to sort of do this kind of thing. Like be really accurate with it, you know, like hook up a trailer or something. Go. Now, if I winch this trailer back up, is it just going <laughs> to roll over again? I don't know. <laughs> it's just one way to find out. Alright, that's good, that's good. Alright, cool. We'll carry on then. Jesus. These trailers do not like this trail. That one's going over. Let's try to pull it this way a bit. Look at that track just hanging. Oh, there goes the back one again. God damn it. <laughs> See if I can at least drag it up onto the trail here because it's just going to keep rolling over until I get it on even ground, right? All right here's what I'm going to do. I'll detach the winch and we'll get this we'll get these things onto level ground before I start continuing with this here. <laughs> Look at this stuff caught in my tracks. Oh my god. Okay. Alright, we'll go get that other trailer. Look at this. <laughs> uh. So these these track vehicles don't like the new terrain features, huh? These uh these trees. Okay.
now. Is that one close enough to winch to? Just. <laughs> Don't you roll over, you bugger. Okay, that's close enough. I'm cool with that. Alright. <laughs> Let's carry on. This is proving to be more difficult than I expected. These trails are just so rough, man. Well, it seems to be quite stable. I mean, all the stuff that's been getting caught in the tracks and that, it hasn't popped the track off, so... Okay, where are we here on the map? Okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. There it is. Excellent. enough okay need a clear view of what's going on here whoa easy big boy All right, there we go. Now, let's turn this thing around, and we'll have a look at the attachments. Okay. So, yeah. As you can see, you can even haul, like, semi-trailers and stuff like that, which is really cool. Um, so, yeah, we've got the fuel semi-trailer garage cart that's oh that's interesting oh yes it's the one that you get on the b66 and stuff yeah the garage semi-trailer I wonder why oh we didn't start with it because we um, well it's it's the uh, the old version of it right and I don't have the third wheel on here so the garage trailer that's what we just uh, called the crayon what is this thing man it's like a crane I guess huh Huh. But not with a grapple on it. We'll have to have another a closer look at that. Let's just go through this. Okay, so long log cart. Yeah, 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 yep. Yeah. Short log trailer, that's pretty typical stuff. Yeah. There's the third wheel utility semi trailer. Oh yes, yeah, yeah. What is this Atva? Oh. The blade, yeah, these things are just yeah. That, whatever, whatever the hell that is. Is it like a grater or something? I don't know. Anyway, okay, so there you have it. So you can haul uh, log, logs with it, uh, different types of logs. You can, um, you know, fuel cisterns, everything, everything. Much more versatile than the TT4 was. 
Um, so the thing that interests me right now is this. What the hell is this? And how does it work? <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's see, man. Operate. Turn. Arrow. Let's see here. Okay. Turn. Turn. Whoa. Whoa. Wee. Whoa. Wee. Okay. Um. Wow. What the hell would you do with this thing? This is really weird. Uh. Let's see. What's arrow? Okay. That raises it. Gotcha. And then the hook. Raise and lower the hook. Okay. I don't know what the hell you would do with this thing. <laughs> it's pretty cool, though. It's pretty cool. Like I said, I don't know. Not sure what the hell you do with it. But okay. Fair enough. What is this? Door. Oh. Um. Oh, I see. You winch to the end of it. Look at that. Aha. Cool. So you can pick stuff up with it. Uh, yeah, the door opened. That's why it was twitching. Look at that. Hey. What, it's hydraulic? <laughs> That's weird. Yeah. Look at that. Hey, buddy. Hey, wake up in there, man. You're driving a truck. Jesus H. People just have no work ethic, huh? Okay, well... <clears throat> What the hell? What the hell would you pick up with this? I suppose you could retrieve your scout if you if you got it stuck somewhere or something. I guess. I don't know. Weird. <clears throat> okay. Well. Uh, anyway. To heck with that. Let's get this thing off here. Um. I wish it was a small vehicle around. I could. Uh, I could test that out on, but uh, there just isn't. So. There you have it. The Bat M. Um. Let's just take it for a bit more of a drive here with, without a load on it. Let's just see what it, it's capable of on its own. Um, let's get that, that watch point, for example. Oh yeah, beastly. Beastly. Okay. Well, um, let's take it for a little spin down the trail, and then uh, then we'll call it an episode. I think I, I've seen enough of what I need to see from this thing. It seems um, to work pretty good. It's not super glitchy, um, like some of these tracked vehicles are. And um, it's powerful, of course, but versatile too, right? There's lots of stuff you can do with it. Haul logs, use it as a utility vehicle. It's even got a weird crane. <laughs> I mean, hey, very cool, man. Very cool. It's not terrible on fuel. It just doesn't carry a ton of fuel, right? You know, uh, burning 20 liters a minute, you're going to go through 300 liters pretty quick. Um, but it's not terrible for what it is. I don't think, anyway. You may disagree. Oh, you feel it when those trees get snagged in there, though. <laughs> Look out, man. Throwing rocks. Watch out. You get a rock in the face, bud. Sorry. I think this watch point's in here, isn't it? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's just stomping on everything. <laughs> yeah, he did.
<laughs> uh, very nice. All right, let's go to the other garage, and we'll we'll, we'll call it there. I'm still I'm still I'm kind of enjoying it right now, and uh, we'll get to test it here in this. I know this is a real soupy mess here, uh, but I don't expect it to even really miss a beat. Um, I mean, it's a it's got tracks, <laughs> you know. Lots of contact with the ground, man. Well, nope. I'm gonna bring this tree with me. Apparently, that's got me hung up though. It's not liking that. I wonder if I re if I reverse, will it like sort of untangle itself? Not really. It's still there. All right, bringing it with us then. It's making it hard to steer. We got slowed down a little bit, but not eh, really. Well, we made it all the way across the map, and we still got quite a bit of fuel. That's great, man. It does it does better than I thought. I'm gonna tank a fuel. Definitely. Let's go through the deep mud here and then call it an episode. <laughs> no problem, man. Not a problem. How is it for squishing pumpkins? I'm sure it's fantastic at that. Oh, yeah. Yep. Sorry, bud, are these your pumpkins? Oh yeah, fantastic pumpkin squisher. Very nice. Very nice. Great. Alright. Well, there you have it. The Bat M. As I said, uh, link in the description where you can download this. And um, I'll also leave a link to Spintire's mod that you need uh, to be able to run these types of vehicles. And uh, as I said, um, for those of you interested to see how my uh, track vehicle series is going to play out, uh, we may have to wait on that, and if the wait gets too long, we'll just start a new one with uh, different vehicles. That's all. No problem, right? So no difference to me. Anyway, as I said, thanks for joining me, everybody. I'll catch you in the next video.